this place have a propane tank? I don't, I'm not sure if it does. Yeah, it looks like the tank's in the back. Those tanks go, we're in trouble. Yeah.
coming behind you. You're driving out? Yeah. Yeah, Frank, you still got me? Oh, good. No, I'm just, I have to pay attention. Uh, I don't know if you can hear this. Those are uh, propane tanks venting and exploding all around here. So I, I really have to pay attention to what I'm doing. Uh, I had to stop. Uh, there's two propane tanks, I believe, behind these houses. And I've just got to watch out what I'm doing. The winds have calmed down a little bit. Um, the smoke's kind of, it's getting really dark here. Uh, the fire's spreading down the street, uh, as you can see, and it looks like they're trying to save the structure down the street directly across from the gate of the Silverado Country Club. Um, and there might be firefighters working at the back of these two residences, but we've got um, animal services, sheriffs, fire departments, now the winds are picking up and swirling around. Um, you can see the embers. The wind has completely switched direction. Uh, um, and it, it, it looks... It's hard to describe how dry it is with the wind blowing and, and how hard it is to function with the smoke. No, I've gone through multiple fire training, um, and I'm in a very green uh, lawn area with enough space. If the wind picks up and it and it blows heat my direction, I've got a big enough buffer zone where um, I'm in a relatively safe area, if you could call this safe. Um, so that's the only reason I'm here. Otherwise, um, I wouldn't be here. Uh, I was talking with the firefighters down at the previous fire we were at live. Uh, about the wind conditions and everybody was extremely concerned about the wind and how dangerous it is and I take it very seriously. It sounds like a jet engine. What it is is it's the pressure relief valve on uh, the large propane tanks uh, on the back of the residence venting uh, so they don't explode. Um, they were exploding Previously, it sounded like bombs going off. Um, let me see if I can get around to the back. I'm not sure if we can see whether it's jetting or not. Um, there's a roadblock. Eric. Go ahead, go ahead, Heather. I can hear you. I'm sorry. One more time. I haven't personally seen the, um, the homeowners in these residences. I've seen cars going very fast away from the fire, which you should be doing. Um, well, you should be doing it carefully, but people are, are really getting out of here fast. Um, and I've seen multiple cars leaving the area, which is a good thing to do. No, that's where it's that's where it's spotted down the road. Um, it started off 
in this direction and uh, this is towards uh, William William Hill Winery so uh, I'm not familiar with this area but the fire came from this direction and then moved in the direction this well no it's, it moved in this direction and it's continuing to move this direction um, so if I was more familiar with uh, the topography here I'd be able to tell you whether that was east or west or, or whatever but right now the winds have just calmed down and uh, we can see what street we're at here uh, so this is Atlas Peak Road and uh, what's this cross street Atlas Harbin. Peak Harbin 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 okay and there's fire all along the other side of the road across the street from the country club. Watch out. I gotcha. Um, they haven't stopped for this house. Whoops. There goes the propane tank. Or a gas valve. Um, they have stopped a few houses down, and on my way back, when I need to change batteries, I'm going to try to check that house out, because it looks like they are trying to save that one. I don't know if they've given up on these or not. Yeah, I'm assuming so, uh, you know, in rural areas. You've got large propane tanks that, that, and that's what you run off. You can't, you can't run gas lines out to uh, the rural areas in some places. So you've got these big tanks, and they've got safety protocols where they have a venting mechanism. Uh, some vent, some explode. I've got I've got trucks going past me, Frank. I didn't hear you. Hold on. Go ahead, Frank. Oh yeah, yeah. It sounds like a bomb going off. Yeah. Uh, during the, the interview with Cal Fire, um, we could hear a bunch of them going off in the distance. Yeah. No, I'm I'm okay. It's just. It's just tough trying to... Yeah, from what I was hearing on, um, on the police radio, uh, the emergency services radio, um, they were, they were very um, overwhelmed with the number of fires that were popping up, and they were deploying resources when they had them, but they just didn't have enough resources to go everywhere, and they made a priority to rescue people, and uh, to um, structure protection wasn't a priority. It was strictly um, keeping people safe. So uh, I'm not sure how much, how many resources are coming in. Um, and what's new and what's not. I've been away from the uh, radio for a while. You have a vehicle to get out of here? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, it's very problematic because, you know, especially if, if you're doing anything and you're focused in one direction where you think the flames and wind are coming from and all of a sudden it shifts on you, um, it, it can be very surprising and then all of a sudden you've got fire behind you and you um, you need to watch your escape routes you need to make sure that you've got areas that are away from the fire like a parking lot a large green area a large lawn area where you you can um, escape to and if the wind shifts on you and it cuts that off uh, 
it, it causes a lot of problems, especially if you're trying to escape and drive down a road like this where the smoke's going across the road and you can't see where you're going and all of a sudden you get enveloped in smoke. Um, it makes things really tough up here. It's, it's incredibly bad conditions up here. <clears throat> Yeah, the wind is completely shifted in a different direction now. The wind was going um, from this area and then going this way. Notice that the wind's going this way in this area, and then all of a sudden now it's shifting. But down here, it's going a completely different direction. And literally, that's only uh, 40 yards away from me. You've got wind going this way. And now you go, you look this way, and the wind's going a completely different direction. So. Yeah, and, and, and Eric, but because of that, they are in even more evacuation. Um, the city of Napa, the Napa County, is going to be evacuated. Yeah, I've got a vehicle with a full tank of gas in the okay. way back in there in the lot. I, feel good. I, I really don't know if you want to keep staying here because it's still. No, I'm fine. I've, I've had multiple fire trains working. And it's, it's at your discretion. But yep. Well, you know, it's dangerous out here.
Yeah, that's a police officer checking the house. This isn't that. Uh, I thought you were somebody else. That's right. Yeah, because it's getting bad here and I need to change batteries and actually be able to roll on stuff. Hopefully you guys are rolling on all that.
I've got water. I mean, I've got water. I've got the truck. Yeah, hopefully somebody was actually watching. <laughs> 